Even though we describe them as separate entities, the world's oceans are all linked, with currents traveling through one to the other. And sometimes, very unusual things are discovered on beaches, objects that have drifted thousands of miles across the planet. Today, I'll be taking a look at 15 of the strangest things washed ashore. Number 15. Harley Davidson in 2011, a devastating tsunami struck the coast of Japan that, as well as triggering the Fukushima nuclear disaster, laid waste to countless neighborhoods and washed a huge amount of material into the ocean. All of this debris was then left to the whims of the oceanic currents and began washing up on shores around Japan and further afield. But perhaps the most surprising news was when a whole year later something appeared on a beach on Graham Island, which is part of British Columbia in Canada. Peter Mark had been walking along the beach and spotted a huge white container. Inside there were some golf clubs and camping equipment, but by far the most startling thing was a Harley-Davidson motorcycle. It had certainly seen better days after its voyage, but the license plate was recognizably Japanese, and amazingly its original owner was tracked down. Iko Yokohama from the Miyagi Prefecture had sadly lost three members of his family to the tsunami. And while the sight of images of his bike certainly wouldn't help overcome that, it still brought a rare smile to his face. In conjunction with Fuji TV, the motorcycle was shipped back to Japan to the dealership where Mr. Yokohama had originally purchased it from, and they helped to restore the bike to its former glory. Number 14. Bombs The 20th century saw a huge amount of ordnance used across Europe, and from the Second World War in particular, dropped into the seas to interrupt shipping routes. It's estimated that in the Baltic Sea alone, there's as many as 50,000 tons of chemical munitions and half a million tons of conventional weapons, while more than 35,000 tons were disposed of off the Belgian and Dutch coast. This is proving to be a serious hazard with increasing developments taking place, such as the construction of offshore wind farms, and in March of 2011, residents near a beach in Hampshire in the UK found out just how much of an enduring threat it can be. It's thought that a supermoon the previous night had heightened the level of the tide, and by the time the water receded in the morning, 87 mortars were left in the sand. Each one measured around 4 inches by 20 inches, or 10 by 50 centimeters, and were very much still active. After being reported to the authorities, a 3,200-foot or 1,000-meter exclusion zone was put in place, with local residents having to evacuate their homes, and the bomb disposal squad was called in to carry out controlled explosions of all of them, as well as looking for any evidence that there were any others in the area. Number 13. Giant Eyeball in October of 2012, a beachcomber was walking along Pompano Beach in Florida when they noticed something in the sand that almost seemed as if it was staring straight back at them. When they went to take a closer look, they realized that what they had found was a mysteriously giant eyeball. Said to have been the size of a softball, they had no clue what animal this would have come from, so they called the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission, whose officers collected the eyeball, packed it in ice, and sent it off for testing. At first, the experts suspected that it simply come from a very large fish and could potentially have been the eye of a tuna or a swordfish, but there were also suggestions that it could have been from a giant squid, which are known for growing the largest eyes of any known animal. Ultimately, the DNA tests were inconclusive, but the presence of bone around the eye probably rules out the chance of it being a squid's, in which case you just have to wonder quite how large a fish must have been for it to have grown an eyeball of that size. Number 12. Robot Hand It's not too unusual to find animal parts on beaches after they've washed up, but a resident of Staten Island recently found a body part of something that's not even supposed to exist yet. The magazine editor was taking a stroll along Great Kills Park Beach to write a piece about the debris that can be found, but despite that being the topic of the article, even they weren't prepared for what they would find. Buried within seaweed and some branches, something was glimmering in the sunlight, and when they uncovered it, it seemed to be a robot's hand. Unfortunately, despite being well publicized, no one came forward to claim ownership of it, or to even explain what it was. There were suggestions that it could have been a prosthetic hand, or perhaps part of a model or an automaton, but still, it remains a complete mystery. Number 11. Doritos 
They're one of the nation's and the world's favorite snacks. But what would you do if you found a huge trove of Doritos on your local beach? That's what residents of Hatteras Island in North Carolina found themselves faced with in 2006, after a shipment container full of the chips fell off a ship and was washed ashore. During its tumultuous journey to the coast, the container split open and this deposited thousands of packs of the nacho cheese, spicy nacho, and Cool Ranch Doritos all over the beach. Amazingly, most of them were still sealed, and locals soon spotted an opportunity. They flocked to the beach to collect and salvage as much as they could, and for a morning you'd see people eating handfuls of Doritos in every direction. One enterprising family showed up with a truck to retrieve as many as they could possibly carry. By the afternoon, the National Park Service, which owns the island, had turned up and found the container to still contain thousands of packs, and they began the cleanup. Still to this day, a bag will occasionally wash up ashore, which raises the question of how many were actually lost at sea. If you visit the nearby graveyard of the Atlantic Museum, which is dedicated to the people who have lost their lives over the years in the waters there, there's an exhibit about the event that features a single bag of Cool Ranch Doritos that had been recovered. Number 10. Swivel Gun most things that are found on beaches around the world are either wonderful examples of nature or junk that's been left behind by humans. Occasionally, though, something is found that has the potential to completely rewrite history. And that's what happened in Australia in 2010. 11-year-old Christopher Dukas had been walking along the Dundee Beach, which is around two hours from Darwin, when the tide had dipped to an unusually low level. This allowed him to walk much further out than would normally be possible. And when he did, he saw something strange sticking out of the mud. He dug it up with the assistance of his father, and they soon saw that it was bronze, so they knew it must have been old. It soon transpired that he had discovered a more than 250-year-old swivel gun. But the problem is that Captain Cook only first reached the country in 1770. This suggested that people with the technology to build such weapons could have visited Australia far earlier than previously thought, such as the Portuguese, who occupied Timor between 1515 and 1975, but weren't known to have ventured the 430 miles or 700 kilometers south to Australia. It could have also been lost by an Indonesian sailor several hundred years ago, but without them actually making landfall. The truth may never be known for sure, but it's discoveries like these that are starting to hint that Australia has a forgotten past that's yet to be rediscovered. Number 9. Lego The weather conditions in the Atlantic Ocean can be unpredictable at best, and on a stormy night in 1997, the container ship the Tokyo Express was struck with such force that it tipped 60 degrees one way, then 40 degrees the other. This resulted in 62 containers being lost overboard off the coast of Cornwall in the UK, one of which was destined for New York and contained nearly 4.8 million pieces of Lego. Strangely, most of the pieces were nautically themed, such as cutlasses, octopus, flippers, spear guns, and scuba gear, as well as random objects like daisies and dragons. With so many pieces of light plastic entering the water, they were easily picked up by the current and have been regularly deposited on the nearby beaches ever since. In fact, to this day, it's almost impossible to walk along an entire beach on that stretch of the Cornish coastline without seeing at least one piece of Lego, with the daisies by far being the most common ones to be found. According to locals, the rarest discoveries are the octopus or dragons, but it's not just in that part of the world they can be found in. Researchers believe they've been in the water long enough to have potentially traveled around the world twice, meaning you could well find one of these Lego pieces no matter where you are on Earth. Number 8. The Montauk Monster So much of our oceans remain virtually unexplored, and it's guaranteed that there's countless strange species that we're still to discover. One of the best ways of learning about new animals is by scouring beaches to see what's washed up. But things took a strange turn in Montauk, New York in 2008, when a group of friends visited Ditch Plains Beach. They had gone there for an afternoon of surfing, but after deciding on a place to sit down, they spotted something odd in the sand. They found themselves looking at a bizarre creature unlike anything they'd ever seen before, so they took a photograph of it and began searching for answers. Any animal that's been in the water for a while after it's died will likely swell up and become disfigured before it washes ashore, and that's what happened in this case. It means that it's extremely difficult to identify, and still, no one's entirely sure what it was. Known locally as the Montauk Monster, suggestions have ranged from it being a turtle without its shell to a raccoon, a dog, or a sheep, but experts in each of these animals have pointed to reasons why it can't be them. 
The leading theory, though, is that it was a raccoon, but the mystery surrounding it, along with the fact that nearby is a government-run animal testing facility, has led to various theories that it could, in fact, be an experiment that was able to escape. Hmm. Number 7. Tangled Rope Beaches around the world are littered with debris, and one of the most common types that you'll find are objects that have been lost into the water from fishing boats. These can be ropes, nets, buoys, and plenty more. So when a National Park Service guide found a tangle of ropes on a Texas beach in early 2021, they initially didn't think anything of it. They did, however, take a picture of it and post it online. And while it definitely looks like a tangled ball of rope, that couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, this is what's known as a sea whip, which is actually a living organism and is a type of coral. They can be a range of colors from red, yellow, and orange to violet, lavender, or purple, and they live in shallow waters along the coastline as far north as New Jersey, all the way south to the Gulf of Mexico. They typically live at depths of between 10 and 66 feet, or 3 to 20 meters, and cling on to rocky outcrops on one end, with the other end flowing freely in the current to feed on plankton. While they're naturally occurring animals, the sight of them on a beach isn't necessarily a good one. This means that some things dislodge them from their natural habitat. And even though this can happen naturally, it's also caused by some fishing techniques or ships dragging anchor. By the time they've washed up like this, they will have almost likely died. But it's a fascinating insight into what's living in the water just a short distance from the coast. Number 6. Tombstones No matter where you go, chances are you'll find some human-made objects that have washed up on a beach. Normally, they'll be plastic or other junk that floats, but residents of San Francisco were in for a surprise in 2012 when some particularly somber items started appearing. Local residents started finding tombstones in the sand of people that had died in the 1800s. First, there was one from 1876, then one from 1890, and they kept showing up. While this may seem like a dark secret coming to light, the explanation for all of this was far more simple. The reason it had been happening was to do with construction works that had been done to help protect the beaches. The area had formerly been used as a graveyard, but the bodies had long been moved inland. The stones, on the other hand, proved too costly to be moved and were instead repurposed. They were used as breakwaters, gutter liners, and to construct a seawall, and it appears as if some of these had broken loose and then washed up on the beach. Number 5. Toy Eggs While they're not so common in the United States because of historical legislation that banned their sale, Kinder Surprise Eggs, which were chocolate eggs that contain small toys inside, are incredibly popular in the rest of the world, and particularly in Europe. Germany is one of the biggest markets for the sweet treats, and sees hundreds of thousands of them being sold each year. Most are shipped into the country, and this created quite a surprise in early 2017, when Storm Axel battered the country. It passed across an important shipping route and resulted in several containers falling into the sea, five of which were stacked full of the toy eggs. Thousands of these plastic capsules washed up on shore of a small North Sea island, and while they had, unfortunately, had most of the chocolate removed from them in the ocean, they still excited the children of the local community. The kindergarten even encouraged them to scour the beaches to collect as many as they could, and this proved an effective way to clear up the mess, and while they were doing so, they also found other objects that had fallen from ships in the storm, such as Lego pieces, parts of furniture, and even prams and buggies. Number 4. Glass Some of the strangest and most beautiful beaches you will ever visit can be found in McCarricker State Park near Fort Bragg in California. Between 1906 and 1967, the nearby waters were used to dump glass, appliances, and vehicles, a policy that's left a long-lasting mark on three of the local beaches. As the biodegradable waste broke down, the remaining items began washing ashore, most notably large amounts of glass. Rather than being sharp shards, the ocean processes have smoothed out all the pieces to form glass pebbles, which have become a beautiful tourist attraction. After opening to the public in 2002, the beaches are visited by thousands of people every day during the summer, all of whom want their chance to see one of the most colorful beaches in the world. The glass won't be here forever, though, with the pebbles slowly depleting as they're washed back out to sea. Local politicians have refused efforts to replenish the glass due to environmental concerns, so if this is somewhere you want to visit, you better go soon. Number 3. E.T. 
It's one of the most successful science fiction movies of all time and catapulted Steven Spielberg into Hollywood fame, but it seems that E.T., the cute but weirdly shaped extraterrestrial, is still surprising people more than 40 years after he first delighted audiences on the big screen. In 2012, a walker who was hiking along his usual coastal route near Portsmouth in the UK called the police when he saw what he believed to be the remains of a person in the sand. The authorities were soon on the scene, and while they approached the site with caution, they saw the funny side as they realized what they were looking at was actually a full-scale replica of the titular character. Missing a finger and looking worse for wear, what was possibly most surprising of all was that they actually knew where it came from and were able to reunite the model with its proper owner. Four months earlier, a burglary had taken place at a house nearby when the 76-year-old owner was fast asleep. As well as a significant amount of jewelry and other valuable possessions that were stolen, the thieves also took the replica of the alien, which had been crafted by one of the owner's daughters as part of a stage makeup course. As such a meaningful item, she was glad that the E.T. was returned to her, although no further evidence was found about who the culprits were or why they had changed their mind about keeping what they had taken. Number 2. Severed Feet Since 2007, beaches and islands on the coast of British Columbia in Canada and Washington State in America have seen a particularly gruesome series of objects washing up on them. Human feet that, in most cases, are still in their shoes. In total, 16 feet have been found. Disturbingly, only two of these were left feet, which were matched with right feet that also washed up, meaning that the rest must have come from at least 14 different people. It's completely unknown how these feet arrived on these beaches, and only four people have been identified as the owners of them, and there are plenty of suggestions about how such a thing might happen. The strange thing here is that only feet have been found, and no bodies. Some people suspect foul play by gangsters, others think they've come from the victims of a plane crash near the area in 2005, and some have suggested they may actually have come from victims of the Asian tsunami in 2004. All of them have been found within shoes that would provide enough buoyancy for them to be carried by currents across the ocean, so that's completely feasible. The true origin of the feet might be a bit closer to home, though. One of those that were found have been linked to a man who was thought to have taken his own life, and two of the feet have been identified as being from a woman who jumped from the Patulo Bridge in New Westminster in 2004. It's quite possible, therefore, that these feet have all come from people who suffered similar fates in the surrounding area. Number 1. Spaceship Parts Humans are now sending more material into space than ever before, and while companies are working on ways to reuse their rockets to make things more affordable, there's no escaping the fact that spaceflight currently creates a lot of debris, most of which comes falling back down to Earth. To prevent any serious injuries or damage, companies calculate the trajectory of discarded objects so that they will land in the ocean, and from there they're normally expected to sink to the sea floor. This doesn't always go entirely to plan, however, and in 2015, three business executives who were on a vacation in the Bahamas made a surprising find. On a small island called Elbow, they saw a large piece of metal on the beach and upon closer inspection realized it was a piece of a fairing from a spacecraft. It even had a recorder attached to it and was clearly identifiable as being the property of SpaceX. After contacting the company which arrived to collect the flight recorder, it turns out that the fairing had been part of a Falcon 9 rocket that had launched from Cape Canaveral. It's a piece of engineering that people rarely get a chance to see up close unless they're directly involved in the space industry, and something like that is a one in a billion chance to find on a beach. Watch our binge watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.